Hi everyone, my name is Mary. I'm the Otunye Alaje of Ijeja. I'm here to discuss with you on egg bear. What is egg bear? These are our heavenly mates. As it is believed that before we all came to earth, we all had our heavenly peers. Some people are very active amongst their heavenly peers, while some are not. While some take responsibilities in their groups. You know, not fulfilling this could cause a lot of problems in our life journey. Egbe gives wealth, children, perfection, and good health. So many people ask me, how do I know I'm an Omo Egbe? If you have one of these, yeah, you are considered as an Omo Egbe. Number one, do you see yourself playing with group of people you don't know in your dreams? Do you fall in and out of love easily? Do you search for stuff and all of a sudden you see them later? Do you see yourself swimming with a group of people you barely know? You could even see yourself having a relationship, having a family, even having kids in the dream. When someone hurts you, the bad things happen to the person. Is your sleeping position weird? Do you have weird dreams of masquerades? Do you have wet dreams? Do you discover you look handsome, pretty, and at times you look ugly and not it? Do you see yourself, you know, making out with someone you barely know? Most of the time, very cute person. A child of Egbe is always considered as a rich and blessed child, you know, a great child, because they don't lack. Things are always going smoothly for them. Nevertheless, it could be the other way. You could be an Omori Legbe and things go wrong for you. You could face difficulties in life if you don't acknowledge them. I myself, I remember going to church when I was always having relationships that wouldn't work. I went to church and I was told I was an Omori Legbe. They were going to actually take it out of me, to flog the hell out of me. After flogging, I know things got worse, as in worse. So I told a friend of mine who took me to her mom. My mom was a priestess, you know, an local priestess. And she told me, see, you're not my leg bag. Going to church for purification is only going to make things worse. Your great grandma was a priestess and she had an egg bag pot for you. You guys threw it away. Go and do something about it. When you have this pot back, since we come back to normal and you're going to be a priestess i was like what's this one saying who's going to be a priestess this generation are you kidding me she was like i know you're looking at me like i'm saying shit and all but when it's time you would know so i did my findings and i found out that really i reincarnated someone who was a priestess you know i stayed here so at the end of the day I got the egg pot done and thanks to a little married things have been fine for me. At times you experience marital problems, unable to conceive, you know, unable to save money, getting a job, all sorts of disappointments can come from the egg beds. When you don't take off your egg bear, how do you expect them to take care of you? You know, you're driving a car and not feeling it, would that car move? It won't move. Some of the difficulties people face in life is from the Aegbe. You see a woman very pretty, searching for husband. At the age of 50, she's not married. It could be your Aegbe. You'd work, 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 work. People that are doing the same job are actually making money, and you are not making money. It could be your Aegbe. You go to the hospital, everything is fine with you, but you're seriously healed. You can't give birth, you can't do anything. It could be your egg bear. Because you could be married spiritually, you could have kids spiritually. And then in life here, yeah, you can't do the same. So you know, the egg bear, when you don't take care of them, they bring a lot of setbacks for you in life. Our egg bear are like our guardian angels. When you take care of them, they clear the paths for you. They clear the road for you. Even people would ask you, did you actually do money withdrawals, you know? So many things could come from the egg bear. You're not caring for the egg bear. It's going to be difficult for you to make it in life. So we have classes of egg bear. We have the yellow day. 
this class of Egbe can never be male or female. They are leaders amongst their peers. Most of people who fall into this class of Iyalode are very neat. They love to party. They love to show off. Their presence are usually known once they step into the place, you know? I fall into this category of yellow days. They are also mean. They don't take shit. They are very charitable. I could give someone my eye, actually. It is dangerous to offend an yellow day. You know, offending an yellow day, trust me, the full squad will come for you. They are natural, psychic, gifted. Like, they have that psychic gift powers, you know? They love fashion. They are wealth creators. They love giving, setting disputes, motivational speakers. The yellow day, number one when it comes to Egbe. So we have the Ajaguno. Ajaguno means warrior. People who fall into these categories are mostly police, soldiers, and paramilitary. They are very accommodating. They don't tell lies. They don't steal. They are very strict and promiscuous like the yellow day. Even though they are quick to anger, they are also quick to forgiving. They take good care of their clothes. They are very neat. They love fashion too. That's for the Achagono. We have the lyrical. This class of Egbe, they are very notorious. They are regarded as the issue inside Egbe. However, children of this Egbe have very good traits. They are very intelligent. They are gifted musicians, dancers, actors, anything that has to do with the social media and all. Their major taboos are reptiles, anything that crawls, you know? Snakes, lizards, and all. Their Egbe provides with our kids just like other Egbe. But I think this particular Egbe, when it comes to wealth and kids, they call them surplus, you know? A child of a lyrical talks too much, loves to gossip, very, very stubborn, is over ambitious, beyond his age, very impatient and ruthless. These are qualities of a lyrical. We have the adit on yon yon. This class of Egbe are always found around refuse dumps. No matter how dark it is, they will locate such places. They love to play around the refuse dumps. This category of children are very, very stubborn. We have the ballet. The ballet shares same leadership quality as the yellow day. They are multi-talented, domineering, but honest. Their downfall is that they lack forgiving spirits. The ballet they don't take shit. They don't like anybody who has committed any offense to go scot free, despite their pleads. No matter how you beg a ballet, someone from that egg I mean, they don't forgive. They don't forgive at all. That has to be that has to do with ballet. We have the Olugbe Gero, that's like the Abikus. The spiritual power associated with this class of category of Egbe has to do with flowing streams and rivers. The Abiku children in the Gero class of Egbe, their symbol is rag. Whether in form or fashion or anything, you must find a piece of rag among their dresses, even in their cupboard. It is believed in if for cosmology that close association with Oli Begero can make someone overcome all enemies. They are always very rich because they like to save money, but they are not givers. They are very, very stingy. So this is it for today. 